You know, it's time to enter the war against Valescuba myself. I will be watching through his, um, his Bill's Weakness video and debunking it. That's right. Because here's the thing. He came up with one of the most illogical things ever. Now, you may be a Valescuba supporter. I respect that. Okay? I respect your opinions. However, um, I do not respect, um, I do not like Valesky Bum. Uh, I just don't really like him in general. He, he seems like to be a very unpleasant person and always stirring theories just to try getting views. Yeah, I think every single one of his theories that he comes up with is just a grab for views. Am I complaining about that? Yes, yes I am. <gasps> um, but... So, here we go. First complaint with this video so far, Velskum has stated that Bill has no power outside of the dream, outside of dreams and stuff. Um, I'm gonna say he's wrong. He had to have been banished by the book at some point. And why would they keep him around if he's not that dangerous? Hey, everyone's powerful in the mind. However. When he removes the teeth of that deer, he cements the status that Bill has, that he, Bill Cipher, has power in the real world, too. So I'm going to say, um, no to that. O fifty, 50 Valescubum is trying to tell us that Bill's weakness is gold. Th at this point in his video, I believe that he does not know the difference between a joke and hidden plot twists. Hidden plot twists aren't things meant to be very silly. He says in the episode Boys Crazy that they were like storing gold for the apocalypse. Um, turns out in the episode Boys Crazy, the apocalypse is a bit of a running, is a one-off joke with the stocking meat for the apocalypse. With about as much um, hold up into the plot as the owl trowel. See, Gravity Falls um, takes doesn't take one-off jokes and turn them into an entire plot. Like you would think, Valeskibum. One-off jokes are one-off jokes. Do you comprehend, Valeskibum? started a descent into madness once in your smile lip video you state that th th one theory is wrong no matter what somebody thinks of it you're telling them to believe one way well here's the thing your smile lip in this video you're saying that it's just a theory and a speculation well eventually down the line Vilsky bum you um you started forcing your beliefs onto people which I am not a fan of I have my own personal beliefs, but and that's fine. I'm not going to force my beliefs onto you. However, you, you have stated that in Gravity Falls, plenty of times that one-off jokes are, are part of the plot. Um, the gold thing, you're stating that one of Bill Cipher's weaknesses is gold out of, out of pure speculation. You need to have plenty of backup evidence before you do anything with, with a theory. You need to have at least three or four pieces of evidence to back your theory, I think, no matter what. 
unless it's a joke theory. Wait, that's what all of your theories are. Velskibon, you use such such little um, knowledge that you have. You acquire small parts of knowledge, find uh, base a theory off of it, and then take other things. In fact, you do that with Tumblr as well. People come up with theories. It's everyone comes up with it. I come up with theories in my head. I um I wasn't a believer in the Stanley theory at all. Now, now, but no one can push beliefs. Uh, so yeah. So Valsky bum, don't state something that you don't have enough evidence to back it up. People will go after you for it, and and things will turn out badly. Alright, yes, in the mind, both could have large amounts of power, because the mindscape is pretty much you can create anything, and that's the gimmick with the mind. Um, and one thing I like about Rowdy Falls is no other show that I know of has used that into context. I love that about the show. But listen, so, so Bill Cipher could be at his full power in there. Yeah, he could, but... In Sock Opera, an episode that um that this theory came out before, Bill is in the real world and does have power. This this theory that he's not that he's weak is is there. So unlimited power in the mind, though you state as a weakness to Bill Cipher, Bilski bum. How could you? Um, unlimited power. Yeah, everyone had unlimited power. In fact, Bill Bill could might have not um. Had been at his full potential either, so that means there's going to be a bigger climax near the end. Right, you said that Bill probably is not that scary in reality himself. Well, I am going to tell you. He kind of will. Pro he might actually be scary in real life. We haven't seen him in p full power. We've seen him in the dreams where he was e at equal power, and we haven't seen his full power in the real world. And that's why this falls apart. You said that he um causes fear. He's got more intentions than that. Did you not see the episode or something? Look, the theories for Gravity Falls that you create are are awful. I think awful. You. You rip them off the internet. In fact, you're just as bad as Nickelodeon, the channel which wants to put all their internet TV shows or internet sensations, poof, put it online. However, that's not the case here. Gravity Falls has plenty of theories. Why are you... But, but you need to create good theories, otherwise people will think of you as just a subscriber magnet. This is not a good theory. You have stated in this that Bill is not scary in real life. This is an opinion thing. However, do do I think that? Of course he's scary in real life. He's a dream demon. He entered Stan's mind and and attempted to hijack it, pretty much. If, and get the code for Gideon. If that happened, it would have been game over. And there could have been a lot worse things. We have not seen Bill Cipher at his worst power yet. In fact, I think he's growing stronger. And he started really strong. Have you heard of unlimited power? Bill is aware of his existence in a dream. He probably has unlimited power also. They could keep rising forever. Uh, however, why do you state that Bill is probably weak because of the unlimited mind power? I doubt he's ever going to go into another character's mind because, well, one thing from a story standpoint, it's, it would be a rather cliché. I mean, they have multiple love stories, but, but they shouldn't rehash the same plot. Anyway, though, 
Also, he's got power in real life. How else could he enter someone's dream? Finally, I can agree with you on something. Yes, every character on that wheel might just have some importance. However, I can sense a good climax when I see one. This, um, they'll have to unite all of that, um, and stuff like that. Bill Cipher's weakness could be, um, could be people gathering together to defeat him. But the bottom line is, you've suggested three weaknesses so far, when only one of them will do it. Unless you have the facts. I mean... Uh, for this, you could have easily told, predicted who was on the wheel, like who was who, or something like that, but people have done that already. So, Velsky Bum, why are you wasting your time, and why are you wasting my time? That's the only question I have for you right now. <laughs> Friendship. Easily, easily defeat Bill Cipher. Now, if this theory is true and he is as weak as you have said he is, then yeah, they might be able to easily. But Bill has proven power, and in Dreamscapers, he proved real life power. He could enter a mine. He could take the teeth off a deer. He could be a strong enough person to give the author fear. Now, and in sock opera, he occupies Dipper, he sends Dipper into a sock puppet, he does a lot of things. So, and now you're stating that they could easily defeat him, but in the last slide, you just said, hard work. You're contradicting yourself. Get a continuity nod or something, okay? Your continuity is as bad as modern Spongebob. Now... About this, so I don't think Bill would easily go down. Most people probably wouldn't. I could probably uh, ask anyone on UNS and Friends, and they, they could agree with me that Bill will have a good old climax. Bill's not falling easily, okay? So, it's time for me to do the end wrap-up video. What you have stated in this video is things you have no evidence to back up, other than one-off gags. You have stated things that most followers would probably already know. You have stated the obvious. You have stated that everyone on the wheel is, is someone who is being represented by a symbol. Yes, we all know that by now. You have stated that everybody has a weakness. I have a heel, a Chili's heel. Welcome to everyone on Earth. Now, you have this. See, stating this is a new theory and stuff, when you are either making things up or stating the obvious the entire video. Now, that is unexcusable in my opinion. You, when you state the obvious, it is annoying. Stating the obvious is stating to people what they already know which I have been doing for this past few things just to give you a taste of your medicine. However, tell you what, I don't think I'm going to get my message through to you, Vail Skibum. I don't think so at all. Here's the 
cause, cause you got one thick head and it's hard to speak through that head and get my message out there to you. I am doing this to save those people. There are plenty of people like the children who don't, who want to decipher these theories and find that out. I don't see any of the older audiences doing that with your videos. I only see the younger audiences pro probably who want a little help going to your channel for it, you know? That's what you do with your videos. Anyway, thank you for watching this video, and Veil Bum, get a life. And see you next time.